I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling, and we're going to focus on decision-making pass by pass. For new players, this can be a little overwhelming, but it can also be very exciting because if you make the right decisions at the right time, you can optimize your potential to win. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a pair of flowers, a white dragon, one three in cracks, one three nine in dots, one three five seven eight nine in dots, one four seven in bams. No multiples except for the flowers. So with these tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would definitely play a hand with flowers. I notice we have all the ones, so I might focus on like numbers with ones, and you can use ones with little odds, and we have three, three, five. So that's where I would focus, ones and little odds. We even have a hand here with no gaps, one, three, five dragon. I wouldn't pick a hand yet though. So I would pass as defensively as I can with these tiles. So maybe four, seven, nine. Seven, nine is a little risky, so we'll do two suits. I think seven, nine in one suit would be a little more risky than two suits. So this is how I would start. We've got a three, that's our first multiple. So I would reassess and build around the three with flowers. One, three, five dragon is a potential. One, three, five dragon, three, four, five in one suit, three, four, five with flowers. We could do like numbers with threes maybe so I think at this point with these flowers, I would probably let the ones go. Probably focus on one, three, five dragon or three, four, five flowers. Maybe like numbers with threes. We're missing a three, so that's a gap. So with these tiles, I would pass one, six, eight. And the reason is because if we pass six, seven, one, six, seven consecutive run in one suit is risky. Seven, eight, one suit, consecutive run, risky. If we were to pass six, eight, they could have a seven to fill that gap for consecutive run, but they could also maybe play evens, which is not as flexible as consecutive run. So that's why I would pass the eight instead of the seven. We have a five for little odd potential. There are a lot of sevens in these tiles right now. We have our multiple here, three, one, three, five dragon. That's a hand with no gaps. It's a little risky because we really need a one dot for a pair there. 
actually, is that right? Yeah, pair, pung, kong. Pair for the one, pung for the three, kong for the five, and then a kong here. So let's pass one of each suit. We picked up a five. So we still have little odd potential. We have a four in there for a potential three, four, five uh, flower. So this is not bad. We have odds and consecutive run. It's a little bit risky. I think we could probably let the three go and make that a little bit better. Do three, eight, nine. We have a four, three, four, three, four, oh, flowers. There's a seven, four, five, seven, nine. I think I would let this four go, break up that seven. We got a flower. We don't need four flowers if we use the dragon, but there is the one, three, five flower hand. Oh, we got the five. Three, four, five with flowers. That's what I would focus on. This would be the fourth hand down, pair Pung Kong. Oh, and we have tiles we can pass. We could still maybe play the dragon hand. So let's pass these three. Two, five, seven. I would stick with these tiles. Pass two, five, seven for optional cross. There's a pair of fives. Oh, here's a four. Four, five. I think I would probably, let's see. One, three, five, dragon. One, three, five, flowers. Three, four, five, flowers. I think I would keep that. Probably hold this for joker bait, discard those. Probably discard that. Because the one, three, five dragon hand uses only a pair. I'd rather use the flowers. So I probably would let that go pretty early on. So we have three discards with joker bait and options. This is gonna take a little work, but we have two hands with no gaps. Actually, yeah, well, really three, because we could play three, four, five flowers, use Kongs. So there's lots of flexibility here. We have a joker, a flower, northwest, white dragon, one, two, three, six in dots, three, five in cracks, seven, nine in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, the first thing I thought was a year hand. If we played a year hand, we would need to let go of two tiles right away. 
because, or really one at least, because we could play hands in the, in the wind and dragon category with a flower, or we would have to let these go if we play a year hand with flowers in that year category anyway. And then I thought we could also maybe focus on three, six, nine, or like numbers with threes with news. Here we have two threes, news with threes. I have found a lot of success by building news through the Charleston, because you usually see a couple of wins and can quickly build news, which is four tiles. That's a block of four, even though they're singles. So let's just test that theory and focus on three, six, nine. We'll keep the threes and the wins, at least for the first Charleston. And then maybe give up on, uh, let's put a two in there. We'll give up on the year. So let's focus on 369, maybe like numbers with threes and news, or really any like number hand with news, whatever builds first, but we have threes already. So let's see what happens. We got an east. So already we're one away from news. I would leverage that. So let's still give ourselves some kind of an option here. Let's see news. East and west. We have a six and a four. One, four. Let's just stick with this. We've got sixes, so I would focus on sixes instead of threes. So sixes, news with sixes. Now we're gonna let one of these go, but by holding all three, we're gonna optimize the potential to pair up. So let's pass two, three, nine. We got sevens, sixes and sevens. We have three, so let's build around sixes. And we'll pass one of each suit. Sevens, sevens and a flower. So then I would switch to sevens. So here's news seven. This is going to be risky here, like numbers. We're going to go forward. Let's see, right across left, left we're going across. We have to pass. That's horrific. Okay, there's a flower and an eight. You know what I would do here? I'd probably push a quint and try to build these up. Now we have three flowers and a big multiple. We did get a six, by the way. There's a seven. And we have two tiles to pass. So here we have news with sevens. Maybe a quint. Let's ask for two in the optional cross. I'll bet we get a six back. <laughs> two. No six. So... We have probably three discards for news with sevens. We're one away from news. We can Kong here. We just need to build up that seven. If we build up a wind, we could maybe switch to a quint. Either way, we can Kong the seven. I would say that was successful, even though it was painful with that really risky pass. Six, six, white. Oof. Oopsies.
we have a, a Joker, a Red Dragon, News, 2, 3 in Cracks, 1, 2, 3 in Dots, 3, 5, 6 in Bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on news. We have no multiples, but this is a block of tiles, block of singles. I would hold like number potential, and we do have one too, so we might be able to play a year hand if we can get a white dragon, which are rarely passed, but we'll see. So let's pass those two and the dragon. We'll focus on news with either a year, twos, or threes. We have a two, so I would focus on twos or maybe a year hand. Let's pass one of each suit. We got a two, that's a multiple. I would build around the multiple. Two, two, news. Let's pass these three. We got a one and a west. We have two tiles to pass. We have one, two, one, two, two. If we get the two bam, we could play east and west with twos. Or maybe a year hand. Let's give up a one dot. There's a white dragon. Your hand. We're on a cross pass. I think I would focus on the cross on the um, concealed news hand under the year. Break that up. We have a year here and we have our wins. This is our only weakness. And we can use the Joker with north and south. We got a flower. This we could use if we play east and west with the year under winds and dragons. Now here we have like numbers and a two. I would not pass that. I would break up the fives and pass two. So we're going to pass one blind. We didn't get any keepers, but we have tiles to pass in the optional cross. We got a two back and the one. I think I would stick with this hand though. Probably news concealed, but I would keep this flower because if we build up east, west, we could play east and west with the year. And those would be the discards. I'd say that was a pretty good Charleston. And we ended up having only one multiple, but we're building around it. Actually, here's a multiple pair of twos, but we're using it in a block of singles and pairs. 85% of the hands on the card use big multiples, which are pungs, kongs, and quints. 72% of the hands use pairs. So if you build around multiples, you're going to optimize your potential to win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.